This is 2OF Entertainment. Hi, it's Kiffin Lobates here, and today I want to talk about a Web3 developer misconception that the first time I came across it, I thought it was just a one-off, that it was just that developer. But I've seen several Web3 developers have the same misconception since, and I was talking to a smart contract developer friend who has had the same problem as well with a couple of Web3 developers, so it must be more pervasive than you'd think at first. And the misconception is this. There are Web3 developers out there who are under the mistaken belief that if they remove access to the smart contract from their web page, then users can no longer access the smart contract. So they believe that if they take down the website or they remove the page that provides access to a smart contract, then their users will no longer be able to interact with the smart contract. And this is patently false, of course, because Smart contracts are running on open, permissionless, public blockchains, decentralized databases, in effect, from a developer's perspective. The website doesn't control access to the blockchain. And this can have disastrous consequences. OpenSea has been stung by this twice, where they've either removed front-end pages but not updated the back-end, or... Uh, in another case where they haven't made the user interface clear enough to let people know the state of the back-end smart contract. And I'm guessing the Web3 developer misconception comes from the way that Web2 works, where typically the back-end database is locked down and controlled by a central authority. And indeed, in that case, if you remove the web uh, front-end, then ordinary users can no longer get to the database. But just to repeat, a blockchain is not a centralized database hiding behind a firewall and an admin password. It's public, it's permissionless, and if the smart contract exposes functions, then anybody with a bit of know-how, somebody who knows how to go to Etherscan or Remix, or a smart contract developer who has uh, used Hardhat, will be able to go retrieve the details about the contract and start interacting with it even if your website is no longer connecting to it. So that's just a brief video today to highlight that this space is so new that there are people merge, uh, sort of going into it without fully understanding the implications of what is actually going on uh, under the hood. And I think it's important if you want to be a Web3 developer <laughs> to understand that one simple thing. This is decentralized, permissionless world, not a centralized, you control everything world. I uh, hope you found that interesting and I'll see you all in the next video soon. Bye for now.